Hello everyone, today we got a new video because I got light on my dashboard about my cooling expansion tank and uh, I knew it's something happened with my expansion before light came on but I didn't pay attention but right now I'm thinking to replace the cooling uh, tank uh, and I'm gonna explain what's a better way to do it first of all when you inspect your cooling tank you can see it starts to cracking inside small cracks inside it's mean the plastic is already uh, too old and tired from the heating and cooling down and expand and retract also we have some sign of leakage over here as you can see over here it start to leak little by little over here and also the the tank also has a different color before when it's new it's more whitish but right now it's some kind of yellow all this tank has a weak point I'm gonna show you where is it. This is my new tank, which I bought it. All of them has a weak point over here. This, this one is fitting. When they do molding, they inject plastic from the here. And this point is very weak. It starts to cracking from here. Also, my tank has the same problem. It starts cracking here. All air which inside when the pressure build up is escape from here it's it's escape from here and coolant when you when your engine cold you can check it and it shows low level here but when you come back and engine hot all it shows full tank with coolant it's mean it's air leak from here and you should replace your tank and if you go to the dealer to buy this tank it's gonna cost about uh, 300 dollars but it's better to buy from the different place from ebay because you can spend about 77 dollars and free shipping and plus tax but about 83 84 dollars and it's better to do before it's crack open because if it's crack open on the road you're gonna lose a lot of money and right now what i'm going to do i'm going to drain the fluid from expansion tank also i bought a hose i don't know this hose somehow it's looks like something inside because it's very tough I'm gonna replace this one if it has a inside spring I don't know I'm gonna check it first I'm gonna start from here and replace all this thing and we will see how it's gonna work I'm not gonna drain all fluid from the engine I'm gonna drain from here and maybe I'm gonna close here and see what can, we can do okay right now we're gonna drain all fluid from the expansion tank and how it's gonna work i don't know but we have a bucket here we might need this one
Yeah, this spring, when its engine cooling down and build up negative pressure to not the press it in, and when it's pressing in, it's gonna restrict the the coolant go back to the engine, and this is why they put it a spring there. I think they put it inside. I don't want a sharp edge cut the hose. Okay, right now, what we're going to do? Let's check if it's the same. I hope this is the same. Yeah, the size, the size is same. Now we're gonna put this one. We have a clamp here, same like. Okay, we're gonna use this clamp. We prepare our holes and what we're going to do we're going to pull pull it out the old hose and do right away because we don't want to lose much coolant and we're gonna put it here like this and now the time to do it Oh, it's not good. Okay, now I have a sensor.
just became freezing cold right now. Huh? Oh. Look. What's your hole on? Well, obviously, yeah. I'm a war boy. Make sure it's not gonna leak. Like, put maybe like a sample. Okay, right now we're gonna put a coolant in the tank and also we're gonna put some a zipper zip ties some zip ties here and I think it's gonna be it but it's a little bit tricky to put this one Okay, I'm finished with coolant expansion tank. It's installed and what I got from this. At least I replace it on time. It's not broke down on the road. If it's gonna break on the road, it's gonna cost a lot of money. At least only expansion tank, they're gonna charge you about $300. Also for the work on the side of the road and you can be later and when you do early, when it's not broke down completely, you just start to see some cracks, some leaks. Just order it from uh, some places like eBay. They have much cheaper. They have three times cheaper than the dealer has. Has the same product aftermarket. But if you try to buy original one, the price is unbelievable high. And I hope this video helps you replace your cooling tank early. Don't break down on the side of the road. That's it for now. See you next time.